And uh, likely will, well, it's already slipped off and hit me in the mouth once. <laughs> so, we're going to try a little cheater bar action on this guy and see if I can break this wrench here on this one inch bolt. Whoops. But yeah, I'm talking about putting a mount basically right here. Uh -huh. One basically right there. Yeah. And then one, one on the inside of this. So these two look symmetrical. Yeah. That's gonna be our oddball. Yep. And <laughs> all right. Well it's much later and there's been some developments. I'm not uh wasn't satisfied with plan A, so we are on plan B. Maybe plan C at this point. It involves Unistrut. Unistrut is kind of channelized metal, mostly used in the electrical industry in my experience to route hardware and things like that, wiring. Anyway, it's pretty good structural stuff, but I think we might be hanging an awning off of it. So bear with me. It's an experiment, although Unistrut's much more expensive than 25 years ago when I bought it last. These two pieces are about 35 bucks each at Home Depot, so hopefully I can get this figured out. Plan, I guess, B or C at this point. And what we've got here is I've bolted down this top one. I'm about to drill and bolt the, the second one here. Uh, I've used some 5 8 hardware in the top, and I'll use a similar hardware here in the bottom. I am so excited. I have kind of cheaped out here and these things are so hot, these straps. So I kept trying to figure out a way to bolt this awning to the structure and make the structure wide enough to bolt it directly to it. And I realized that I was looking at it the wrong way. So I built these straps I think we're doing it just like that. Awesome. So anyway, I put the screws in the awning. I thought I'd start the camera to record my ineptitude. So that's what we're gonna be up to. This is what we're up to. Got some Unistrut here attached to the factory mounts. Uh, disregard the tie wraps here. They're just holding this strap down. This strap is kind of a structural deal for the backside of the mount. It looks like it's extruded aluminum mounts. I don't know how they're gonna hold up, but we're gonna give it a shot. So I was wrapping my brain around the, the back track on this OBS, uh, what do you call it, OBS awning is the channel to channel, it's extruded aluminum, is about four and a half inches. And I kept trying to make this wider to accommodate that. And then I said, hey, dum dum, you can just bolt around these two. It's almost perfect. So I did make a trip down to the hardware store and this is what I, I made. I bought some, I don't know, it's bigger than eighth inch steel or thicker by about an inch. I didn't do this on camera because I was in a hurry, but I took and used a little flapper disc on there, drilled these out of my drill press. They work like that or will work like that. So basically, if you can see what's going on, it'll bolt through the bottom and bolt on the top and we'll fasten the awning in place. There'll be a bolt th hole through here and over the top of that. And I think that's kind of what we're gonna be up to on the mounting solution. Again, is it perfect? And is it, am I using it as designed? No. But what I will promise is that if and when I fail, sometimes catastrophically, I will let you know. Well, hello there. It's always the wrong tool bag. <laughs> I need a ratcheting 13 millimeter if anybody's got one. So there's been some developments. I think I 
talk to him on my way in the car, but I went and bought some more stainless hardware at a local hardware store, and it appears to me like it's gonna work just Jim Dandy, if you can, I'll focus you guys down here. Hopefully you can see what I'm kinda up to here. So, ah. This is what I came up with. You know, again, I would ask you if you're watching this video to keep in mind that I started with something broken that I'm trying to fix. Like I was missing parts. Like I, I didn't disassemble a working awning off this trailer and try to do it. I had these existing mounts here and I just kind of jammed around and figured stuff out. The only thing I'm not really comfortable with is I may, I may replace, if you can see down here, there's an aluminum strap. Eventually that may become a stainless steel strap at some point with a little firmer mounting. I'm not terribly trustworthy with the, the tie wraps. And so what we're looking at here is I just bought some flat strap steel, which is what I made my little deals here with. Uh, I bought a little longer eight millimeter bolt in a coarse thread, bought six of those at $2.50 each. And then I bought the Unistrut, which was by far and away the most expensive thing. And that was about $75. But as you can see, watch the, the shake test. Like, this isn't going anywhere. So, I guess the, the only thing you and I need to do right now is, well, we need to get the socket wrench over here that I put just out of my reach on the roof. Then, I'm going to try to... Uh, set this thing up. This is it. I gotta tell you guys, this project uh, went better than I kind of ever could have expected. I wonder what these guys do. Do we have legs here? Is that what's going on? Whoa. Okay. They're not super robust legs. Let's see. Well, I'll be doggone. As you can see, this is a, I don't know what you guys think, but I think this couldn't have turned out better. Look at the look at the coverage the coverage in this awning is amazing you know the original awning the factory one would have started about mid window here and been oh the front mount was here and then would have come out maybe this far maybe a little further this is pretty snazzy and jazzy here it's not often that I repair stuff that it actually works well I don't know what to tell you guys I'm packing up and Dana and I are going camping this afternoon. We're going to test this thing in the wild.
Okay, all right. We have reached camp. I've caught our escapees. We, uh, we just got back from our little sneaky overnight trip up Lolo Pass and another successful test. We survived. This thing works awesome. We've got a few projects to do that we're kind of keeping a notebook of stuff we want to get done. But I think the OBS awning's in the books. I may do some tweaks and adjustments, some finished stuff on it, but it, it looks pretty good. I think we're going to, you know, keep using it one and two days at a time close to home. A uh, big test for me, obviously, is I have the, the Bronco, and it seemed to perform just kind of as, as I expected. As we go forward, we will be putting a brake controller in the 4Runner and a brake controller in the Bronco, just because safety-wise it makes more sense if the trailer is equipped with brakes, which this one is. We're going to do that. But anyway, I hope you follow along. We're continuing to film Casita content and a variety of other things, so it's... Like I said, it's Tuesday. You'll probably see this this afternoon. Stick around next week, and I will come back with much more marginal content. Have a great day. Have a great week. See you soon. So, whoopsie. Always, always something. <laughs> well, well, once again, you missed your face, so it's okay. Yeah, well, I didn't the first time. Even by my standards, this place is a freaking, <laughs> this is a mess. I keep doing these projects and never cleaning up. It's, it's horrendous in here. This is my little portable work table you've seen a number of times. And it's just got stuff everywhere. I got a, oh, I got a bunch of editing to do. And I at least need to muck this out a little bit. Ideally, well, I'll keep that a secret. We got big changes for the shop.